what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we'll continue with our discussion on the bhagavad gita we are in the first chapter still after long long time and we completed till the 22nd verse so when we completed the first 22 verses we came to know that arjuna has told krishna that please take my chariot in between both the armies of the kurus and the pandavas so that I can see what is going on, who is there on their side, who is there on my side, yes. And now we will start with the 23rd verse. And if you are new to my channel, if you have still not subscribed to it, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, then watch my other videos on the Bhagavad Gita playlist and also on astrology if you wish. And before beginning, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. ओम ज्ञान तिमीरंधस्य ज्ञानंजना शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितम येना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः देयर यू गो 23rd वर्स एंड दीस वर्सेस आर अ बिट स्मॉल देयर इज नॉट मच एक्सप्लेनेशन सो वी विल रीड मल्टीपल वर्सेस योत्स्यामन अवेक्षे हम यत एत्र समज्ञता धात्राष्ट्रान दुरुबुद्धे युद्धे प्रिया चिकित्सरवा दुर्बुद्धे। Let me see those who have come here to fight, wishing to please the evil-minded son of Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra, Dhritarashtra means the son of Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra. What is the meaning of the word Dhritarashtra? Actually, there are multiple meanings of this word, but Dhrita is very firm, very strong, very fixed and Rashtra is kingdom. So Dhrita Rashtra is one who is in a way whom, who cannot be defeated, who cannot be challenged because his power over the kingdom is very strong. Nobody can take away his power. That's the actual meaning when you say the meaning, meaning of the word Dhrita Rashtra. But the funny thing is when Lord Krishna arranges the different pastimes in this world for us to learn, what happens exactly is it becomes like a double meaning. Double meaning means, for example, the word Dhritarashtra means one who is a very strong king, one who is very determined to protect his citizens, to do good for the, uh, for the kingdom and who fights with his enemies and protects because his hold on his kingdom is very strong. But the funny thing is when Lord Krishna makes the divine arrangements, the names will internally have a different meaning because here Dhritarashtra, although externally it means that, but internally what does it mean? Internally it simply means that Dhrita also means attachment. So Dhritarashtra also means one who is very attached to his kingdom, one who just cannot let go of things related to uh, his king kingdom or re related to his uh, lordship because he was so much attached that he thought my son should be the king which was not legal because he was only a representative of his brother Pandu who was ruling and after Pandu departed he was put as a representative yes and therefore Dhritarashtra could not allow his son to be the king because ideally his brother Pandu, his son is supposed to be the king. That's the norm. Even in the Ramayana when Lord Ram came to Ayodhya, came back to Ayodhya, then his sons ruled. Bharat Maharaj did not rule. Lakshman did not rule. That's how it happens. The dynasty continues from the eldest. Yes. And here Dhritarashtra is elder to Pandu but he was not qualified to be the king because he was blind externally and internally <laughs> but even though he was the eldest because of this reason he was not qualified and Pandu was made the king so it was supposed to be the system that after Pandu till the time his son is not strong enough or capable enough to rule Dhritarashtra who is his elder brother will be the representative and he will rule on his behalf as in Hindi you say Pratinidhi, yes. And at the end what will happen when 
Pandu's son, he becomes mature. He will rule. And who was his son? The eldest was Yudhishthira Maharaj. And Yudhishthira Maharaj was also the eldest in the entire generation. Yes, because he was elder to Duryodhan also. So by that way, these are two reasons why Yudhishthira should rule ideally. And of course, the most important reason we all know, he is the most qualified person. There is nobody like him. Yes, what to speak of Duryodhana, even the Pandavas are nowhere near to where he is. I mean his other brothers. Therefore, the word Dhritarashtra also means that he is very attached. Asakti as you say in Hindi. It's moha. It's, it's beyond moha also. Moha is attachment and Asakti is like obsession, madness. Yes, my son has to be the king. If that doesn't happen, I will do anything. And he was very much instrumental in seeing and letting all the wrong things happen to the Pandavas. And that is why he suffered at the end. Although he was the king, he had all the power. He could have stopped everything. Insult of Draupadi and letting go of the Pandavas to the forest. He could have stopped everything if he wanted, but he didn't stop it willingly because he also wanted all those things to happen so that his sons could rule. Therefore, Dhritarashtra here also means that one who is very attached. So externally it represents a king who has a strong hold on his kingdom. But internally it represents attachment. There you go. So now the translation for this 23rd verse is as follows. Let me see those. Who is this me? Me is Arjuna. <laughs> Arjuna is talking to Krishna. Yes. Let me see those who have come here to fight, wishing to please the evil-minded son of Dhritarashtra. And that is why the word Dhritarashtrasya is used here. The son of Dhritarashtra, as it is said. Now, the purport. It was an open secret that Duryodhana wanted to assert the kingdom of the Pandavas by evil plans in collaboration with his father. <laughs> Dhritarashtra. So it was an open secret. Everybody knew it, but nobody used to speak it directly that the king is behind. Everybody saw, say that, said that, no, no, actually Duryodhana is the main culprit. He is not. Dhritarashtra is the main culprit. That's why it's written here. Wanted to assert the kingdom of the Pandavas by evil plans in collaboration with his father, Dhritarashtra. Not alone. Duryodhana could have never done all these things alone. The atrocities which he performed in, uh, against the Pandavas, that he would have never done if the king would have not agreed. But unfortunately, he not only agreed and sanctioned, but he also delighted in it. <laughs> Dhritarashtra, such a miserable person he is. And in fact, it is said that he was, the, he was such a person who used to even pretend to himself that, yes, 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 I am a good person. And he always used to keep speaking that I am blind, I am blind, I am blind. But my dear sir, you may be blind physically but by, by birth, but by your actions you have be, become blind by the words of religion also. Yes, what all things you have let your son do to the Pandavas. How will he not suffer? How will Krishna not punish him, right? And that's what happened. All the uh, all the Kurus were slaughtered by Bhima. Yes. Therefore, all persons who had joined the side of Duryodhana must have been birds of the same feather. My God. Just see what's written here. All persons who had joined the side of Duryodhana must have been the birds of the same feather. That's why they say no birds of the same feather flock together. <laughs> so basically it's meaning here that not only Dur uh, Dr uh, Dhritarashtra was in collaboration with Duryodhana, all the other people, Bhishma, Drona, they also participated unfortunately in all this. That is why they are considered to be birds of the same feather. <laughs> because they are ultimately on the side of a religion. Adharma. Arjuna wanted to see them on the battlefield before the fight was begun. Just to learn who they were, but he had no intention of proposing peace negotiations with them. So Arjuna did not want to see them so that he could go and think of, okay, maybe we can do some peace negotiation. No, that was not his idea because the very fact that the conches have been blown after the warriors have assembled is the proof that 
the war is now going to start there's no uh, there's no doubt on the fact that the war is now in inevitable because that is when the consuls are blown yes so he wanted to just see them on the battlefield who is there on this side who is there on that side and he was a powerful chatriya he didn't want to think that oh maybe what if i lose what if this happens what if that happens no he was a very powerful chatriya so if somebody thinks that arjuna wanted to see okay if there is any chance of peace negotiation that is false that's wrong that's a false allegation to arjuna because here it's clearly mentioned but he had no intention of proposing peace negotiations because all the peace negotiations by the adamant nature of duryodhana had already failed miserably in fact they tried to put krishna in the prison when lord krishna went as a shanti doot a peace messenger to astinapur to preserve the integrity of the country bharat varsha but somehow it didn't happen because <laughs> these demoniac people had to perish actually it was also a fact that he wanted to see them to make an estimate of the strength which he had to face although he was quite confident of victory because krishna was sitting by his side there you see arjuna's confidence it was also a fact that he wanted to see them to make an estimate of the strength which he had to face so he just wanted to make an estimate okay who is there on that side who is there on my side although he was quite confident of victory because krishna was sitting by his side internally he knows victory is there with me because tatra shri vijaya dhruva nitir matir mama last verse of the bhagavad gita if you do not know then stay tuned <laughs> maybe i will need one and half to two years to speak the last verse or you can just google what is the last verse i will not tell you therefore he was confident of his victory because krishna was sitting by his side see krishna is directly sitting next to him what why do we have to worry you know victory will always be there with you so we'll read the next verse now sanjay uvacha now sanjay is speaking to tetrashtra evam ukto rishi kesho guda keshe na bharata सेनोभ्ये स्थापय रथोत्तम संजय सैड हु इज संजय संजय इज दि सारथी ऑफ धृतराष्ट्र ही इज दि पर्सन हू वॉज ब्लेस्ड बाय द ग्रेट सेज व्यास देव सो दैट ही कूड सी लाइक अ एल सी डी एल ई डी और सम कैंड ऑफ अ डिवाइन टेलीविजन ही वॉज सींग what was happening in kokshetra by sitting in hastinapur and he was reporting to dhritarashtra yes that's who sanjay is sanjay said o descendant of bharata the, having thus being addressed by arjuna lord krishna drew up the fine chariot in the midst of the armies of both the parties O descendant of Bharata means Bharat Maharaj. Th- this is a reference to Dhritarashtra because Dhritarashtra is uh, actually this word Bharata is referred to Arjuna also, but here it is being referred to Dhritarashtra because th- Bharat uh, Maharaj was the kingdom uh, was the king after which the kingdom was named. It was the ca- and the country was also named as we know India is named as Bharat. of course there are two other bharats on which india is also named one is the son of rishabdev and another is the brother of lord ram and he is another bharat bharat here this bharat is referring to the uh, the king who was very prominent in the dynasty of the kurus yes and when one king becomes very prominent his name is taken again and again and again yes and he was the son of dushyant and shakuntala yes now o descendant of bharata having thus been addressed by arjuna lord krishna drew up the fine chariot in midst of the armies of both the parties so krishna took the chariot in between the purport in this verse arjuna is referred to as gurakesh so 
Bharata is also a name to Arjuna and here Bharata is referred to Dhritarashtra because actually both of them are Bharatas because they are both descendants of Maharaj Bharat. But here Gurakesh is specifically referred to Arjuna. Gurakesh, see Gurakesh basically means what? Gurakesh means one who has conquered his sleep and Arjuna used to fight so much, he used to practice so much the art of archery, Dhanurvidya as you say that he sometimes used to not sleep also. In the night he would practice because he used to think that if I can shoot without seeing then I will know the Shabda Bhedi Vanvidya by which you can shoot without seeing. Yes, just by hearing you can shoot the target. Gudakesh. In this verse Arjuna is referred to as Gudakesh. Gudaka means sleep. And one who conquers sleep is called Gudakesh. Sleep also means ignorance. There you see, there are some people who say that, oh, I like to sleep so much. So, <laughs> what does it mean that there is a lot of tamas inside you if you feel like that? Anybody who sleeps too much, he is in the mode of ignorance, tamas. So, Arjuna conquered both sleep and ignorance because of his great friendship with Krishna. See what is written here. Because of Krishna, he could conquer sleep and ignorance both. Because sleep is an indication of ignorance. Because that is Tamaguna. Of course, that doesn't mean sleeping is sin or it is wrong to sleep. It is okay to sleep how much ever is required. But oversleeping is not recommended. Especially more than 6 hours of sleep is not recommended. And if you sleep on time, especially uh, at 9 p.m. to 12 p.m., one hour of this three hours is considered to be as good as three hours. So that means if you sleep from 9 to 12, 9 p.m. to 12 p.m., uh, 12 a.m., sorry, <laughs> how much have you slept? Three hours, right? No, you have slept nine hours because one hour is like sleeping three hours. And then if you sleep from 9 to 3, how much have you slept? You have slept 12 hours because 12 to 3 is 3 hours and 9 to 12 is 9 hours. So 9 plus 3 is 12. So if you sleep 12 hours, which is actually means you have slept only 6 hours, but still it is 12 hours. So it is good if we can sleep by 9 o'clock. Even I try to follow that. But if you are sleeping at 3 o'clock and you are trying to get up uh, at 7 o'clock, that is not going to happen. And if you are sleeping at 2 o'clock and you are getting up at 11 o'clock in the afternoon, that is also terrible. That is That means Tamoguna is very high in you. That is why it is recommended that we sleep by 9, 9.30 or at max 10. That is highly recommended here. As a great devotee of Krishna, he could not forget Krishna even for a moment because that is the nature of a devotee. See, before this, what is written here? So, Arjuna conquered both sleep and ignorance because of his friendship with Krishna. Because he was Krishna's friend, that is why he could conquer it. Otherwise, probably he could have not. And as a great devotee, he was also a great devotee of Krishna. He could not forget Krishna even for a moment because that is the nature of a devotee. He was always remembering Krishna 24-7. There is written now... Either in walking or in sleep, a devotee of the Lord can never be free from thinking of Krishna's name, form, qualities and pastimes. What does he remember? Krishna's name, form, qualities and pastimes. Name is the name Krishna itself. Form is his beautiful Tribhanga Lalitam as you say. Threefold bending form. Krishna is always having a flute and then his neck is bent, then his this uh, the belly is bent and his legs are also bent threefold bending form that is known as tribhanga lalit tribhanga lalitam qualities krishna's qualities how great he is he protected Draupadi. he did so many great things when he was there even as lord ram as diwali is approaching as we all know right and pastimes, the stories that he performed. These four are the things which the devotee always remembers. Thus, a devotee of Krishna can conquer both sleep and ignorance simply by thinking of Krishna constantly. This, this missile is given here. It's like a Brahmos missile, like a Tomahawk missile which US and India has. 
नाउ दिस इज कॉल्ड कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस और समाधि कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस मीन्स टू बी कॉन्शियस ऑफ कृष्णा जस्ट लाइक अ बॉय एंड अ गर्ल आर ऑलवेज कॉन्शियस अबाउट ईच अदर दे आर ऑलवेज थिंकिंग ओ वॉट कैन आई डू टू मेक हर हैप्पी वॉट कैन आई डू टू मेक हिम हैप्पी येस दैट्स वॉट इज मेड बाई कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस थिंकिंग ऑफ कृष्णा ऑलवेज बींग कॉन्शियस ऑफ गॉड ऑल द टाइम एज ऋषि केशा और दी डिरेक्टर ऑफ दी सेंसेस एंड द माइंड ऑफ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी कॉमा कृष्णा कुड अंडरस्टैंड अर्जुनास पर्पज इन प्लेसिंग द चैरियट इन दी मिड्स ऑफ द आर्मीज दस ही डिड सो एंड स्पोक एज फॉलोज देर फॉर कृष्णा इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सो ही अंडरस्टैंड वॉट अर्जुना वॉन्ट्स एंड वॉट एक्चुअली ही वॉन्ट्स नॉट ओनली जस्ट वॉट ही स्पीकिंग सो Krishna as directed by Arjuna he takes the chariot in between and in the next verses he will speak Krishna will also start speaking yes very soon he will start speaking <laughs> although Arjuna only keeps speaking and later after some time Krishna will start speaking and now Arjuna will undergo the paralysis because he will get bewildered by seeing his grandfather and his teacher and all the other cousins who, who have been who have assembled in kurukshetra yes so the next verses we will see in the next videos okay until next time wish you a very very happy diwali and great reading the gita and the scriptures okay until next time bye bye see you